Representing that is my friend Steve and Falky. And they are like ramen on Sunday and they're up next at the Follies. So I'm going to head on out of here until I have to oh. run them off. <laughs> Oh, oh, music, though. So professional. It's so fun, though, you know, to have a little music then. I like a little music, you know. I mean, it makes things better, I think. So, um, I'm Harold. Ethel. And, you know, we start taking some improv classes, though. Um, to try and spice up our lives, you know. Our counselor said that if we did more together, we might have a better, you know, boudoir time. Oh, now you're going to talk about that here. We got a festival crowd going here. Well, festival crowd needs to be aware that older oh, people have boudoir time. Oh, <sighs> boudoir time. Okay, just don't talk about the shower time, though. Oh, Harold. Ethel. Okay, now, oh, I'm crimson. Oh, okay, it turns now. turns almost magenta okay. when we talk about the shower. <laughs> oh, no. And so, so our counselor told us, what's, what's her name? Oh, Miriam oh, Mitzelbaum. Miriam Mitzelbaum. Miriam Mitzelbaum. Very nice lady. I met her at the grocery store. Yeah, and yeah. She used to babysit for uh, Fred down the street there. Oh, yeah. So I heard then she went and she got her master's degree in yeah. counseling. Yeah. Specifically, couples. She said couples. You know, we're on Zoom, though, so you got to make sure. Because oh. you can't hear. You got to stage, stage whisper. whisper. Couples. We're learning about that in the improv class, though. The stage whisper. The stage whisper. Also cheating toward the front. Anyway, so Miriam said that maybe maybe yeah. we should take a little class together. And she suggested like basket weaving. And I've always thought of I myself can't. as an actor. And I've never thought of myself as an actor, though, you know, but I don't think of myself as a back basket weaver either, though. So. Yeah, you could be an actor, though. You could win an Oscar. You could have said that at the beginning, Harold. Okay, well, you know, sometimes I don't say things at the beginning. Doesn't mean I don't mean them, though. Watch your pressure. Now. Okay, now my okay. pressure's fine. Okay. Cheesy. I will get the cup and I will show you it's fine. I do not need to see the numbers to know because you are turning magenta right now. I'm turning magenta. Am I turning magenta? I don't think so. Anyway, we need to. We're here to host an improv show for you, and we're going to be the actors and the host. So, okay. Could you just give us a suggestion of anything at all, and we'll do a little improv for you? I don't know. Type it somewhere, and maybe we'll see it. And then if we don't see it, we'll just make it up, though. Anything at all, though. Yeah, okay. You know, and then as we're talking about doing improv and okay. stuff, then we're we're having everybody coming through, flooding, flooding in, the in the basement. Oh my oh, goodness! Goodness, that's scary. Flooding in the basement. Oh, flooding. okay. Jeezy Pete. Okay, flooding okay. in the basement though. Okay. Noah. <clears throat> Yes. Oh, cheesy. Go. Maybe I should be off camera for this one because I'm God, though. I think that's a good idea. Okay. okay. Noah! Noah! Oh, that's real good acting, though. That's, that was real good. Staying character. Oh. Staying character. Oh. Oh. Noah, you are the last good man on earth. God. God? Yes, it's God. I'm quaking. I'm quaking. Okay, now. Harold. God can't be from Minnesota, what? God's not from Minnesota. Okay, he now. Say okay, now. You just hey. lost the Oscar there. Come on. Oh, you're so mean. You're sleeping in the garage tonight, Oh, sir. as long as I'm not sleeping in the flooding basement. 
and scene. Uh, we came right back around to that though. That was pretty clever, right? So we're Did you see? Yeah, that's a level one improv. Oh, right ha there. ha! That's a suggestion. Oh. Ha, ha. Now, now you're getting my pressure up. Oh, Jeezy Pete. Ho, oh, are you okay? Ethel, are you okay? Ethel, are you okay? I'm. Okay, I'm, well, that was terrible. That's a suggestion oh, of ha ha. Okay, well, we skipped all the other suggestions. Oh. What are you saying? That's a better suggestion than exclusive membership? It's the first one I saw then. Oh, well, maybe you should look higher up the list and pay some respect to people giving suggestions. The sight line on my glasses has never been right. Oh. Mine neither. All right, exclusive membership then. Okay, okay, and here we go. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. Welcome to the gentleman's club. Well, you don't look like a gentleman to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And they can't even see us. Look at this. Look at this framing here. Okay. Well, that didn't work out as well then. This Zoom is just... Jeezy, Pete. Boy, when we were doing improv, when we were learning it, we were on the stage, though, you know, and people were there. And, you know, you didn't need a membership for the, for the stage. You would just go to Bear Stage, and you could see us on the stage. That's a new voice you're trying out there, Harold. Trying to do a scene here. Oh. You're, you seem to be slightly confused by that. Are you okay? You feel oh. a little warm. <clears throat> I think I have a fever, doctor. You know, you're, is it something, oh. It's a heartbreak fever. Oh, my God. This I, happens all the time. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I try dressing down. I try messing my <laughs> hair up. I try not taking a shower. And always... It's not your clothes or your hair. I'm a really nice guy and a good doctor. It's. I'm going to get myself together. Okay, please do because this is a professional I'm gonna relationship. I'm going to get myself together. Okay, now. I forgot that. <clears throat> Stage whisper then. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's a professional relationship that we have. It can be nothing else. Oh, oh that was dramatic in the head drop. Now it's everything really... is just every you're just every scene is just ruined. Well, maybe you should just do improv by yourself. Well, then. maybe I will then. Okay, you go. Oh, on. yeah, maybe put some shoes on if you're going to have your feet on camera. Oh, jeezy Pete. So, so I was just out there the other day and, you know, we were looking at some trailers because we're going to hit the road, you know, and, you know, we're going to buy a trailer, haul it behind our Ford Escape, and we're going to come and see you at some time. And sometime we're going to see Judy Weatherby because she's going to take us out for some gelato up in her neck of the wake. And we're going to play some. Hey, now, you told me to do it, bump. Oh, yeah, hand and foot. Yeah. So anyway. When we go out and we hit the road, we're going to be in, live in full time in our camper. So we hope that we'll be able to come see people and like visit with them. But, you know, soon this COVID will be over. But is it a new strain coming through? I don't know. I don't know. But we're almost fully vaccinated now. So so we're pretty good, though. And I think really I lost I lost Ethel. So there was this one time where I was all alone, though. And I was sitting in the, oh, there, she came back. Are you, are you mad at me, though? Are you mad at me? I'm actually quite angry. Oh, you're angry with me, though? She's angry with me? Why are you? Uh, 
I'm, I'm just expressing how I was feeling well, when you said what you said and, and you said, are you angry? And maybe I'm not angry right now, exactly, but at least I could go ahead and express it because well, Miriam you, says I should express well, my emotion Miriam to you says now. It, and maybe you should act it out instead of saying it though. Okay, now, Ethel, now, why you gotta be that way, though? I'm acting here. Oh, Jeezy Pete, I don't even know what's real and what's fake I'm anymore. I'm trying to do a scene. Oh, Jeezy Pete. Let's do a scene about Jake the dog. Oh. It's all right, boy. I know you didn't mean to eat my cat. Okay, now I'm not going to do a scene about somebody, a cat dying. What is that with you and your cat's dying all the time? Why are you yelling at me then? Well, because I'm just, it's just, we, we what if RJ's watching and a cat died? We haven't then we that. kicked her right out. Okay, well, we haven't done a cat dying scene in over a year. We yet. should never do another cat dying scene again. It's not my fault that Jake the dog ate the cat. Well, it's, it's your... But, well, maybe it's not. Maybe that's what the scene was. Harold, huh? I don't want to fight with you in front of all these people. Well, it's a wanna, festival crowd. I don't want to fight with you either. But, you know, it's like we're doing scenes about cat dying. And well, you said you we, weren't going to ever do any more scenes about it. Well, killed. it's been over a year, and so, I'm a little out of my realm, and I would like to do a serious drama scene. Okay, no. And I don't want you to not talk like a dog. You don't want me to talk I like mean, a dog? I mean, I want you to be a talking dog if you're going to be a dog. You want me to be a talking dog? Only if we do another Jake okay. the Dog scene. But let's do another scene about something else there. Well, we love you too, honey, whoever you are. I can't see you, though. Biochemistry is the next one. Okay, do you think you can do a, a scene about biochemistry? I, I say, do you think you can do a scene about biochemistry, though? I'm about to chemistry you up okay, your nose, I can tell you. So I can A to so. C. I can A to C biochemistry. Oh, Here I go. remember when we used to have good chemistry, though? Harold? Yeah, 35 years, you know, we've been married 35 years and there was a time when we had good chemistry. Harold? Ethel? I don't want to share <clears throat> our... <clears throat> Make sure they can hear you. I don't... <clears throat> I'm, go I'm going to choose a voice now that's not Ethel. I don't want to talk about our chemistry issues on the computer screen with a festival audience. Harold. Well, our chemistry issues are not an issue for me, my love. You are as beautiful as you ever were. Oh, pa. Pa. Pa, pa. Darling. Yes, darling. Release my hand. The arthritis is hurting my joint. Arthritis didn't used to be an issue for us. When we were young. And yet now as we age. Arthritis has taken over our lives and we rely. The painkillers painkillers and kombucha and kombucha darling yes i'd like to not have <coughs> a commercial here i'd like to talk about our home life well our home life is our home life darling Yes. 
<clears throat> I'm trying to have a dramatic scene. And we're talking about our home life right now, dear. We should be talking about our home life in a way that demonstrates relationship. That's what I'm doing, dear. It's called cheating out. Dear? Dear? <clears throat> I was in a fugue state. Don't be in a fugue. Be with me present here with the camera. There was a time, yea, even yesterday, when we were happier than we are now. Before arthritis. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going back to the ha ha. <laughs> oh, you are. It's, can we do one scene? Who are you right now? Ethel. Harold. Ethel. Harold. Can we do one scene, please? One scene. Harold. One scene, please. Okay. I just want to do one scene, though. One scene, though. Look at the look. Hyenas. Legend of Zelda. We were just talking about hyenas. Can we do hyenas and the Legend of Zelda? Okay, because I think uh, Legend of Zelda is a video game, though. So that's all. <laughs> I don't know anything about that, though. So Legend of Zelda and hyenas, though. Shocked again, huh? <laughs> Every time I throw a shock through your phone, you will be hurt. Why would you do that, though? I'm playing a game here. It's fun for me to watch you suffer even in the smallest way. You're not a very nice friend. That is true. I am a slightly evil friend, but a friend nonetheless. Well, I mean, you did stand by me when Margaret left. Oh, that was such a tough time for you when Margaret left. You were left only with me, your evil friend. It felt a little bit like you enjoyed watching me weep and throw up on my shoes. Well, I did clean your shoes for you, so there was that. You did. <laughs> you, you cleaned them. <laughs> But yes, your tears filled my heart with pleasure. <laughs> I don't know if I want to like you or not, but I'm supposed to make a decision. And I think that I like you oh, good. in a kind of weird way. Like I feel conflicted yes. and confused. Okay, well. And that titillates you, I can tell. I love it. I love confusion. I love fear and I love sadness. <laughs> and pain, right? You love pain? Well, those all go together to equal pain. Here, here's my phone. Play the game. Play the hyena game. It's really cool. How really? will I rub my knuckles together ominously with your phone? In my okay. It's the hyena game right here. Go ahead and play that. <laughs> Even my own pain makes me feel happy. <laughs> Sing.
Did you kill me in that scene, though? Did you kill me in that scene? No. You killed me in that scene. You know what Miriam said about killing me in scenes? Miriam told me in a private session that I could go ahead and get my frustration out on stage with you now. Okay, now, so you're getting your... What are you doing here? You're, I'm putting my pant legs back down because I was hot and now I'm putting them down because I feel exposed, though. Oh, are you feeling vulnerable? I'm feeling vulnerable because you're killing me on stage because Miriam says, do it on stage instead of in real life, which I appreciate, by the way. He never expresses vulnerability in our sessions with Miriam, though. Not ever, not once. Well, Miriam and you always gang up on me is what happens, though. That's what happens in a counseling situation. What? Well, I... That's what I heard on Facebook. Oh, okay, now, so I now the truth's coming out though. You're going in there with an agenda to gang up on me, okay. I needed a partner in crime. <sighs> Miriam. Miriam proved to be Your the perfect partner to get you to do an improv class with me then. So then you make me wonder why I would even be vulnerable in there with you and I can't be there defending myself all that time. Well, maybe you could try being vulnerable here at home. Oh, don't put on your sexy voice now. Putting on your sexy voice. Oh, wait oh. a minute though. We're having kombucha from, and this is our sponsor who is not our sponsor, Synergy though. It's a ginger. It's usually, ginger. usually it's health aid, but we couldn't get any health aid though. So, and they're not really our sponsor. I want to clarify that though. No, he lied. Yeah, I said our sponsor who's not really our sponsor, so I didn't lie though. Okay, you know what? If the only vulnerability you can show is anger and frustration on stage right now, oh. we have a significant issue, my friend. Okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe we do have a significant issue. Maybe we got a significant issue, though. Harold. 35 years, maybe 35 years is enough, though. Maybe the fact that we've told everybody we were married for 40 years and you're saying 35 now is part of the issue, though. Oh, maybe it was 35 and then you made it 40 two weeks later. Oh. Did you think about that, though? Maybe our history is 35 years. Oh, you don't even know how long we've been married. I thought I knew. Oh. But now, now I'm feeling unsure and I'm also feeling a little nervous. Oh, well, they didn't make calendars back then. So Google Calendar wasn't around when we got married. Well, that's true. Yeah, that was a long time that ago. That was though. a long time ago. You that couldn't just type day. in a day. No, you couldn't. It was a good day. I remember that day we went down by the river on the, the Yano, South Yano River, though. They it's call not it called the, the Lano. It's the Lano, Lano, but I call it Yano because I took high school Spanish, you know. They call it Lano here. I, it was it high was school a Spanish, nice though. Day, though. Oh, it was such a nice day, and there was no mosquitoes out or nothing. Oh. You know, and you look so beautiful there, there. You're almost as beautiful as you look now, though. Oh, Harold. Yeah, your hair was longer then, though. Well. Yeah. I thought I, ha I thought I had to have long hair, you know, to be attractive to well, men at the Well, back then, time. though, and, you know, maybe it was a thing, but you look beautiful now, though, I think. Just as beautiful as ever. Are you trying to get out of sleeping on the cot in the garage, you? Oh, you know I'm not sleeping on the cot in the garage, though. You. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> shower time. Oh, no. Don't <laughs> even say the shower oh. time, though. That's so oh, cheesy. Pete. Oh. oh, you just took the Lord's name. Oh, the Lord can. You know, he had his oh. day last Sunday. This is our day on Sunday, though. I love you, Harold. I love you, Ethel, though. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. There's our music. <laughs> Thank you all. So when are you coming back? Let's see. Um, I don't know, third Sunday in May, I think third it is. Third Sunday, they'll be back. Yay. Thank you. Ramen on Sunday. Bye, Bye everybody. Hang on. We'll be back in just a few minutes with triode and special guests. So.